Okay, lift number one. Uh, we're just going to, again, systematically break these things down. And uh, if you're an advanced singer, this may seem a little simple for you. And have no worries. I'll get to you later, and I'll torture you with some much, much more difficult licks as we get going. But we're going to start with something called a trill. There's lots of names for this stuff, and it makes no sense to burden you with a bunch of different technical jargon. Uh, I'm just going to, this is a trill, it's a simple trill, and we're going to start it, it goes like this. So if I go, oh, okay, that's kind of, you know, a combination of different notes to make a trill. Now the trill is what I did at the end, oh, okay, there's two ways to do this trill. You could do it as a minor third, oh, or you could do it with the major third in it. Oh, so depending on where I'm singing and what the song requires uh, is what how I'll choose whether or not I want to choose a major or a minor note. Now the next thing too is uh, it's important not to learn these uh, licks only with um, the same vowel sound. We're going to want to go A, E, I, O, U and go through these licks uh, with different vowel uh, sounds as we go through them. So let's just start with the first one. Oh. Included in different vowel sounds as we move along. So, e, e, I, I, uh, uh, ooh. Let's keep going. 